it felt great getting in. You know, it's been a long recovery process after you know, surgery in April and surgery in September, so it feels good to get out there and try to help the Spiders win a little bit. You know, hopefully I can uh, keep making the best of the opportunities I get. You know, I thought I played all right, but obviously I got to play better than I did to help us win and do whatever I need to do to help us win. Could you run down a little bit to physical issues um, get started in the freshman year? I mean, I've had, unfortunately, a numerous of uh, injuries and just minor, you know, issues over the year physically. I, uh, when I first got here, um, I tore my ACL in October, my freshman year, it was about six months, and I've had, you know, some issues with my knee, uh, recovering from that, from like tendonitis and things like that. And then last year, I uh, unfortunately had a list frank uh, tear in surgery in April, and then I had a screw in September, so... I've been on and off with uh, minor injuries like that, like tendonitis, and things like that with my foot. Hopefully, I can continue to stay healthy um, moving forward. You have, oh no, I'm not handicapped in any way. And I, I, you know, I'm healthy now. And I continue to hope that I'm going to be healthy moving forward. And, you know, that's just a chance of the draw and luck at that part. And hopefully, I can just stay healthy and be fine. Nobody likes uh, to get in because somebody else got hurt or has a physical injury. But obviously, situation it looks like it's going to present. I don't, I don't like seeing that going on. I, uh, you know, I hope Grant can be healthy and get back as soon as he can. You know, he's a big part of the team. He can help us with that. I just look forward to the opportunity that I've given and you know, hope that I can make the best of it. I don't, I don't see it like a competition like that at all. I just got to make the best of what I've given. Uh, I feel like uh, by us uh, playing small, helping out the gate small, it's not a big deal because I feel like we have the, the fight and like have the urgency to go get the uh, loose balls that we need, get the big rebounds that we need. No matter how big we are on the floor, I feel like we're just going to try to out-hustle the opponent and get the job done. Was it a big deal to make your first collegiate start? What was that like? I felt great. I finally get my first start, and I feel like I, I actually earned it uh, the time of starting. So, like, just going to keep working and progress each and every day. How different is that mental approach from being able to see a few minutes of the game before you get in to being there at the opening tip? I just feel like, uh, like now starting to have to come out the gate with the energy now, like I said, coming off the bench and bringing the energy off the bench now, just have to start the game uh, off, like off rippers, coming off, bringing the energy, taking charges, getting loose balls, and doing, like doing what I do best and what I know is coming from uh, my old high school. So that's just how I am right now, and that's what I, how, how I need to approach the game now. Just before it take? Uh, just have to get, just go there and get the job done. Uh, big road games, uh, yeah, just have to go get the job done. That's basically it, and just follow the scouting reports on the uh, players that we have to play, and just do do what we do and do what we know, and then just go get, just go get the job done. Just do what we need to do. Is it hard at all when there's an opponent that you know you haven't seen before, you don't know anything about, going halfway across the country to play? Is it difficult uh, to prepare for this game? Uh, I would say kind of, but not really, because uh, our coach did do an outstanding job on the scouting reports. Uh, but I saying what the player does and all that stuff. So like we, we, we know like what to expect from teams because we know our coach is on. They let us know like what type of players they are, so that we know what to expect when we play a team. When you came out of high school, you just sort of tweeted. You know what I'm saying? Since you weren't really an inside guy, mm -hmm. but you scored a lot inside. Yeah. And you weren't really an outside guy, but you scored a lot outside mm -hmm. too. How do you view what you are as a spider? Uh, I view myself as a spider. Uh, I feel like as of right now, as a spider, I view myself as just that I'm more the guy. Uh, like, I know Coach Morning, like, he always tells me, like, like dive on the floor for those loose balls. Like, go get it. Like, I know I know you can. Go get that rebound. Just just doing the little stuff. Like, I feel like the little stuff is what's, what's going to bring us the big wins that we need. And I just try to just bring that energy. And I hope my teammates, we hope my teammates fade off of it. Forward. Well, I would say um, it's possibly is, John. I, I don't. I don't necessarily think it's about uh, the size of the guys as much as it is. You know, we had thought Demonte had played so well. We've had a try starting the game. Marshall, who was a six man for most of last year, uh, you know, maybe maybe that would be something that he was comfortable with. Obviously, I, I think it worked out and we played in our favor because we pressed so much at James Madison. Uh, but I, I think. I don't quite think we're a game by game decision, uh, but I think we're going to see, and I, the size will play a, a part in it, but I don't think that'll be a general factor. Oral Roberts is two good big guys. Is that hard? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, some big guys. I think they played one of the best schedules in the country. You know, they've played at Michigan State, Creighton, and Oklahoma. So, um, yeah, they have some guys who can score in there. I, I think it'd be hard for us to guard them one on one. So, 
I think we'll have to double team the post more like we did against Jamie. Coach, I don't want to say nice to get some closure on Grant, but but I mean, yeah. nice to have an idea of what you're dealing with. And you know, I know when it's when it's cardio related, it's yeah. kind of scary. Absolutely, I think um, obviously it was really a terrifying experience uh, and a really scary few days for Grant and his family and for our players. Um, so yeah, for him to be able to have a procedure that they feel like you know is, is something that that has a chance to really fix this problem is a huge relief to everybody. So, I mean, he has handled it with incredible poise and courage. And, uh, but yeah, we, we feel really good right now. And uh, just feel really fortunate uh, that to, to go through something like that and, and have it turn out 